I be by myself, court, bro. I can't no have kids. No I can't, you know what I'm saying? I gotta watch it. I don't know when I'm gonna watch it, bro, because, you know, fucking kids and shit. Fucking uh, women, they're coming in the room and shit. Like, fuck! We on. This thing just don't work with this platform. Let me know if you get back choppy. You got back choppy? Yeah. Because the food, the earth was. No choppies? Yeah, when well you put that in there. It's in there right now. Now it's starting to come back. When you put that in there, it's fucked up. Hey, put the link in the um the group. Let me just try one more thing. Superman. Test the one, two, three. Israelites. 
Right. 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 The true we are, we are beginning with the men of great millstone, the apostles and elders on down, and the men that teach the likewise doctrine. All right, because you got a lot of phony Israelites out there, man. Israelites teaching in the name of Jesus. Yeah. That's that's awful. Israelites got their women going out to the street corners doing interviews, calling themselves teachers. That's awful. This is war, man. But a lot of you don't understand what you're involved in, man. A lot of you don't understand. We at war, man. Right. All right. You got that? Acts 1? Yep. This is Acts chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And we, we receive that power on a minute level. Right. Because the Holy Spirit is, a, is, is what woke us up to this knowledge. That's right. All we had to do was hear it. So Yahweh Shai said, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come onto you. And that power is the understanding of his word. Okay? I got something quick for that. Yeah, go ahead. It's uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. It says, for the Heavenly Father have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power. That's right. And of love and of a sound mind. And that begins with this word. Right. Okay? That begins with the Holy Scriptures, man. We have power. We can't. There's no... There's no, you know, can't nobody come up here and convince us otherwise. Right. That's, a, that's the power that the Lord has given us. All right. Right. All right. We stand in stiffly. Nothing to separate. Go ahead. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And we at the uttermost part of the earth. All right. We at the uttermost part of the earth, which is the Western Hemisphere. Right. From Canada all the way down to uh, South America, man. Right. Okay? Um, give me that word, witness. In the blue letter, Bubba for sure. Yeah, all right? This man is on borrowed time. The witnesses of Yahweh Shai is back, man. All right? It's uh, G3144. The Greek word is uh, Mart Martas. It says a witness in a legal sense, historical sense. A witness. All right. Go ahead. One who is a spectator of anything. And what are we spectator of? We spectator of Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Yep. It says in an ethical sense, those who after his example have proved the strength and genuine, genu genuineness of their faith in Yahweh Shai. What was the example that he that he laid? He told us to do the same thing. Go and teach all nations. Yep. All Israelites that scattered among all nations. That's what that means. Alright? Yep. We took his example, just like he did. When he told when he told the disciples to go ye to the highways and the hedges and bid them to the marriage, that's an example of showing your belief in him. Right. That's the main, that's the that's the highest level of showing your faith. It's coming out to the highways and byways, whatever city, state, country you in, and to put your and make your body a living sacrifice for Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Just as he did. And that's what the Lord told Peter. He said, if you love me, then go feed my sheep. That's right. Good to say, I'll show you my faith by my works. Ah, that's right. Show me your faith uh, without your works. What you can't do, you can't show faith without works. That's impossible. Because the scriptures say, let every man be alive. You can say whatever you want, but what are you doing? Way louder. Okay? Go ahead. It says, those who after his example have proved the strength and genuineness of their faith in Yahweh Shai by undergoing a violent death. That's right, by undergoing a violent death. Now that happened 2,000 years ago. All the disciples. Uh, uh, besides John, which he, he died as a slave yeah. on the Isle of Patmos, yeah. all right? But the reason that happened was so the Lord can give them them revelations. Yeah. The Lord can come to them and give them those uh, prophecies, man, yeah. of, 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 of the end, okay? And that, that Greek word right there goes back to martyr. That's right, man. Oh, so that's, that's the kind of word, martyr. And this is the time where the Lord ain't going to allow his elect to be backed into a corner and put to death. We went right. through that. Now we know the scriptures say that the blood of the saints 
And some shall, some shall uh, have to have to uh, uh, be beheaded for this truth. Yeah. All right. No, no, you don't gotta get that. Revelation 19. It's uh, Revelation 19 and 10. It says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren, that have the testimony of your other shot. Right, which this is the angel. Okay? The angels are my brethren, man. testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right. All right? Go ahead. It says, worship the heavenly Father. Uh -huh. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. So he came with the spirit of prophecy to give to John. All right? This is why you have the book of Revelation, man. All right? And he showed him the, he, he basically showed him the war that's going to end this, end this place. He showed him the beast. And he showed him what Yahweh Shai is going to do. The elect being delivered. He showed them all of that, man. Right. All right. Wow, man. The, 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 uh, the root word for the word we just read, witnesses in uh, Acts the first chapter, the word for testimony, it goes back to that root word, man. All right. Uh, martyria goes back to that word. It says, Testi testifying the office committed to the prophets of testifying concerning future events. What one testifies testimony before a judge. Right? So when we come out here, we're giving these prophecies, man. We testifying of Yahweh Shai, man. That's right. Uh, Even in Esau's court system, in Esau's court system, if you're a witness, you, they, and you, you've been a witness to a crime, who do they do? They put you under a uh, protective custody. That you 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 gotta testify, but before we get you there, because what you know is dangerous. It's dangerous that he's gonna be judged. We, we we know that he's dangerous, so we're gonna put you in protective custody. Yeah. Guess what? We have an invisible protective custody. That's right. That's right. Because the words that we're speaking and what we're saying is dangerous. All right? It's dangerous. This is dangerous information. This is information that this devil did not want to come out. This devil spent billions of dollars, trillions of dollars to hide this information, man. And if it was up to him, we would have been dead already, including the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. If it was up to him, but it's not up to him. Give me Acts 5. Okay. Men that have hazard, hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's right. And when you look at that word hazard means danger. Right? That's what the word hazard means. When you see one of them trucks, right. hazardous material, yeah. meaning it's dangerous for your health, man. Yeah. Yeah. And this, this word is hazardous to Esau Edom's rulership. Right. And he's hazardous to life. That's when they got that, they had that show, Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, yep. they was the dukes of yeah, the sons of the sons of danger, yeah. destruction. Yeah. 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 I got martyr right here, bro. One of the, one of the definitions for martyr say, one who willingly suffers death rather than surrender to his or her religious faith. Point blank, period. And that's and if you don't have that in within your spirit while you in this knowledge, then you you in the wrong place. Yep. Because you best believe that Esau eat him, he want to kill all of us. Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, tells you that. He said, let us let us uh, see if his words be true. All right? Yeah. Yeah, true fellow. He that departed from evil, making himself a prey. That's right, man. So when you come out of the ways of this world, Start living by the laws, statutes, and commandments the Heavenly Father laid down from the beginning the best way you can. And at the end of that, you believing in Yahweh Shai, all right, the true Messiah, the Savior of the nation of Israel, you make yourself a prey. Right. Yep. Like but, but, your, but your faith 
is what's going to keep you on that straight and narrow. And by you, by you departing from that evil and fearing the Lord, guess what? That protective custody, which are those angels, all camp, are encamped about you. Every waking moment. And you got to believe that. Because it's written, man. Yep. Yep. Psalm 34 and 7. Matter of fact, you can even start at the top, man. Okay. Start at the top. Then read down to 7. Yep. Psalm 34 and 1. It says, David, when he changed his behavior before Abimelech, he drove him away and he departed. Oh, I'm sorry. That was just the intro part. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Right. But before you read that, Abimelech was King David's enemy at the time. King David was in the midst of his enemy. They could grab him up. So what did he do? He spit on his beard and played retarded. Right. He played like a madman. And this is why he wrote this song, man. Because he he got away by the hairs of his chinny chin chin through the spirit and power of the house by Shimmy Al Shine, man. He used wisdom right there. You know? Sometimes wisdom, sometimes when you use wisdom, wisdom is not gonna make you look good. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I mean. It's not the, you're not going to look good by using wisdom all the time. Yeah, you know, like the Jacob Kissing song. You know? Like, like in that movie, uh, Without Remorse. When he fixed on his clothes and he covered himself in the alcohol, drunk and right. shots. Right. And he went over just as he was using yeah. wisdom so he right. could get the information he needed. Right. Yeah. You know? yeah. They didn't make it look good, you know, but he used it. It's like an embarrassment yeah. to get right. what you want. Take on embarrassment to get what you need. Right. Sometimes you might have to catch an L, but in that L you use wisdom. But your life is spared. You know, with, and that's, with, no, just chill out, chill with out, the bro. wisdom that you use, you know, right. but it's all through uh the power of Yahweh by Shina Shah. And that's why King David wrote this. Because it's the spirit hopped on him to do that real fast. Go ahead. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me, and let, let us exalt his name together. Right. And that's what we're doing. When we come out to these highways and byways, we exalt in the name of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shah. Right, we right. do our videos, that's what we're doing. We're pushing that righteous vibration in the planet Earth. Right, right, right. It says, I sought the Lord and he heard me. Deliver me from all my fears. They uh, look that's that protective custody. As a witness. Alright? Yep. It says they looked unto him and were enlightened, and their faces were not shame, ashamed. It says, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. See that? This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. Alright? It says the angel of the Lord that came from uh, round about them that fear him and delivereth them. And that that protective custody. All right, that we were talking about, man. All right. The NLT version for verse 7 says, For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Woo! All right, yeah, man. My boy Blake Perry. That's why, that's why, you know, like the brothers explaining, we bringing out the most uh, hidden knowledge that Esau tried to hide, but Esau can't do nothing about it. He can't do nothing about it, but suffer us on the streets. You know, until the Heavenly Father gave him the go to test us. Right, that's the video you gave even uh, the whole to look upon. Yeah. Uh, previous to look upon. Yeah. Esau hate looking at us coming out here with this word, man. Uh -huh. it, it literally hurts his soul. Oh, uh -huh, man. He, he gets very angry because it tells you in uh, Philippians that this is the sure sign of their destruction, man. <laughs> I know you got personal vendettas and first uh, against certain brothers. Just like, you know, we are talking about how you want uh, Bill Gates or something or you personally want, want somebody. You know they got that for us. But it don't matter, though. It don't matter. That's why Wisdom of Solomon is written in the second chapter yep. where it says, let us see if his words be true. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You ask something? All right, Revelation, let's go back to Revelation first. Oh, oh yeah, Acts 5. Acts 5 and uh, 38, I think it is. It's Acts 5, 
38, and reads, and now, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel of this work be of men, it will come to naught. If you trust and believe you me, if this what we're doing was of men, it would have came to naught a long time ago. So I would have. It would have came to naught a long time ago, just phased out of the picture. But what do you see? All these major platforms on, on social media, the Israelites are mentioned. Oh, thank you. The Israelites are mentioned. People are going into the Bible like crazy. You even had, uh, I saw one on social media where they were, you had some Edomites, where they appeared to look like Edomites, going into the name of the Lord, saying that it's not Jesus. Now, they didn't say it was Yahweh Shah. Right, right. But they're basically saying it's not Jesus. It's not He said the English... Uh, transliteration would be Joshua. Yeah, right. Yeah. He was. He said that, man. That's right. Yeah. So the, what the prophets have done? Matter of fact, give me that in Acts 17. These men have turned the world upside down. Upside down. What's really is right side up. Upside down, meaning that wickedness back then. Mm -hmm. All right. Because when Paul and Barnabas came through, they were uh, preaching the preaching the gospel of Yahweh, side, and they started to turn things around in that uh, community back in the ancient world. Same thing is happening in this society, right? Like I mentioned, uh, I mentioned when I was out there in Georgia, uh, uh, you, had a, you had a straight up dyke. Straight up 100% dyke. You could tell she was in that dyke, but she said she had to denounce that LGBTQ because it's against the laws of the Heavenly Father. Is she going into the scriptures? Right. Going into the scriptures, man. Yeah. See, take note what's happening, man. Right. This 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 knowledge have, has, has has turned the world upside down, man. Right. 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 You know, it's climbed the mountain. Right. Hey, the scriptures tell you a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, a light that is hit. Somebody give me that in Acts. I mean Matthew five, Matthew the fifth chapter. Let, let your light shine. Yeah, read that. It's uh, Acts seventeen and six. And when they found him not, they drew Jason and, and certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, these that have... Now, they, they was crying. They wasn't saying it like, you know, hey, man, they, they, they turning... No, they was pleading. Yeah. Like, man, these dudes, man, they turning this they shit. They didn't know how to deal with it, man. You know? It says, these that have turned the world upside down are come hither also. These that have turned the world upside down. They heard you know what I'm saying? Meaning they didn't flip things around. They didn't turn things right side up. There's right. no more worshiping uh, the goddess Diana. There's no more worshiping uh, the, the queen of heaven. There's no more buying up Christmas trees like you used to here in Babylon. Right, 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 right. Because you know that the Christmas tree is forbidden in the Bible. Right. right. All right? Yep. Yep. You have, uh, like that woman, you have that woman, she's denounced being a lesbian. Because of what? The scriptures, man. Good too. That's good. And the scriptures say that, that that's gonna happen. Yeah. All right, you're gonna have you gonna have Israelites coming from all walks of life. Yeah. Returning to the power, man. Returning to our power, man. Uh -huh. And the Lord has the power to forgive you for those wicked things. Yeah, I wish I did it. Yeah, with Mary. Yeah, you know? I wish I did it. He said all sin is forgivable. Yeah. Except, except the sin of blasphemy. Right. And the ultimate blasphemer is Esau Edom. Yeah. This is why this is why he found no place of repentance. Yeah. That, was, you know, that was one example of Mary, you know, he forgave her. Told yeah, her he forgave her for being a whore, man. Yeah. Because she wives, she believed. That's right. Okay. Yeah, a lot of women begin, you know, they before they found who the heavenly father is, they were getting abortions and things like that. Yeah, they was dropped, jumping from ride to ride. Yeah. Because Esau told him it was okay. Right? Yeah. We was all messed up, man. You had a child, you, you accidentally got pregnant at 14, what you was gonna do? In this society, without the Lord and your, uh, knowing who the Lord is, of course your decision was gonna be to do that. And then the little crusty ass nigga you played with, that nigga just playing a run game. Yeah, he, he just wanted some bucks. Uh -huh. He wasn't brought up right. He wasn't brought up right. You know? Yeah, I got a message. It's on Matthew 5 and 14. It says, ye are the light of the world. That's right. The light is in, in the world now, man. You can't you can't put this light out. Woo! No, you know, you want to put this light out? Come kill all of us. 
Yeah. And even then, you ain't gonna prevail. And like y'all yep. said, the, the reason why we got the light is because we got Yahweh Shai in us. We, we, we don't live onto ourselves no more, but onto Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai is that light. That's right. That's John, the first chapter. Yeah. In him was light. In light was the light of men. It says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Right. A city set on a hill can't be hid. We on top. All right? All doctrine is being slapped down by the truth of the Bible. That's right. Okay? Yeah. It says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. Right. But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. And what was the vehicle the Heavenly Father used to give light unto the whole world? And that covers clean. The vehicle we use. The internet. The internet. The internet, man. If you if you were to do a uh, a, a, a search, like if you were to, I don't know how to do, go into the analytics and all that, but I guarantee you that Israelites is in the top of those uh, analytics, analytics searches, man. Guarantee, uh, man. Because, so, I mean, all, like we explained years ago, what other organization or group out there is pushing out more content than uh than we just said just speaking on Great Millstone? There's no there ain't no other organization. There's no unit like that. Yeah. He's gonna try to hide it though. Because the other day I put Great Millstone and uh I forgot what I was thinking for. I put Great Millstone though, it was it was uh it, it went no no great millstone videos was coming out, bro. Yeah, because he hiding. Because he, nah, he had to he had to uh, he had to filter that. Go through his computer and set these. You know, what's what shows that we had to hit? Right. It was just actually showing a millstone. Yeah, he actually think he he uh he actually think that he's doing something to benefit him, but all he's doing is showing us that the family of the word is around the right. You right. So, it's really it's the Lord because you gotta think about it. How the fuck could anybody most of the heavenly father's word without yeah. him allowing that to happen. Exactly. That's his word. Here it is the scriptures right. that survived thousands of years on the planet earth. And it's paper. Oh, that's you like know? somebody going up to the heavenly father and just and just holding his yeah, mouth. What the fuck? And he just <laughs> letting them. And that's and that's uh you mentioned uh uh the Bible being here thousands of years and not not being touched. Yeah. That's due to prophecy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. the book of Revelation. Where it says, hurt not the wine or the oil until we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads, man. This is why he wasn't able to ban the Bible. Because he wanted to get rid of it a long time ago. Because he knew this information before we did. Right. And was that Chris? I don't look like Chris, man. He did the Bible too. Yeah. He did the Bible too, like the Bible. Remember he tried to, I get the precept, but he tried to burn all the scriptures in the book of, uh, in the first record. Yeah. This ain't single who got the most likes, the most, it ain't about 
that shit, man. Woo! You better realize we fighting for our nation, man. That's right. Right, bro. That's Under the spirit of Yahweh Shai, man. Because he yeah. conquered death first. Right, bro. That's what we out here for, man. We ain't out here to play games. Yeah. We the hope of our people, man. Do what Yahweh Shai did. That's right. Look at the world right now, man. See, you think you're in a good case because he said you can take the mask off. Come June 15th, you ain't got to wear the mask no more in California. All right? You can go in store, but guess what? When you go in that same store, the price of food did double. Woo! You can see the same pack of chicken that you would have got a month ago. All right? A, a pack of drumsticks. All right? It was about, what, three, three dollars, four at the $3, most? That was seven, eight dollars, man. That same pack of chicken. Bro, the gas is almost six dollars. Yeah. That's why they boost it up. You think you're gonna travel, you're gonna... It's over, man. It's over with, man. So you had a lot of you dumb, bozo, big-headed ass jakes, <laughs> women and men. Woo! You went and got the potion so you can travel. Right. Dummies. Now you seeing all these people go on social media, they having keys and quarters <laughs> and spoons just sticking to their body. Light bulbs like that. Light bulbs lighting up. You don't know what the, you, we know what he put in that damn yeah, post, man. Yeah. That's a weapon he used on your ass, man. Ooh, that's uh, right. He uses low frequencies to activate it. Yeah. But I believe during the summer, he gonna fully press the own button on that shit. Especially you niggas going to these concerts. Because these rappers and these artists, they telling them that, you know, well, I ain't saying all of them, but I know it was a concert that was going on in Florida, I believe it was. The ticket was $18 if you was vaccinated. But if you wasn't, the ticket was $1,000, man. Yeah. And you probably have some dumb, goofy-ass people oh, buy that, know. man. Oh, yeah. Just you because they want to get out. You know they want to, especially the woman. Come on. She want to get out she want to shake her ass. God, God. One last time. Yeah. You know? Yeah, the Lord finna let you niggas get freak nasty one last time before he yeah. kill your ass. Make his wide ass open. Go ahead. This is, uh, this is first Mac piece one and forty one. It says, "Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all people should be one, and everyone should leave his laws." What you think this whole pandemic is about? That motherfucker Klaus Schwab said, "What? You will own nothing and be happy Woo! under yep. their control." That's right. what he's saying. That all of us are going to be at the same level. Yep. Well, it's going to be either you up there with them. Or you down here, right. all right? You're gonna be a slave, whether you whether you like it or not. That's basically what he's saying. Yeah. What you think the whole universal basic income is about? Right. They tried this shit before, man. Uh, it says it says that everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. How you think they trying to take out slavery in the, in the history? Don't teach about slavery in school no more. Don't teach about what happened to the natives when they got over here no more. Yeah. They don't want none of that in there because it's a shame going to their ass. Right. All right? And they want to try to bring everybody together and live off. Man, hell no. Yeah. You going down, Esau. That's right. Because right. once you know what he did, then you have people searching and going in deep of, 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 of everything. Man. Yeah. How it started, yeah. all that. And then he don't want people. See, this dude like to hide in the. He like to be in the dark and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but hey, the Lord is revealing your punk ass, man. That's right. You know the and spotlight is on you, man. And Woo! where the light that's shining upon you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, you should know shine. Right, right. Right. And, and the, the prophets led the charge. That's right, bro. The prophets led the charge, man. Because everybody else scared of your ass, man. Yeah. Everybody else scared to say something against you, man. All the like all these scared. celebrities and shit. They scared of the motherfuckers. They scared of shit to speak out. But they starting to get a little bold because they see the prophets. The scripture tell, tell you that the righteous is bold as lions. Yeah, right, you got uh, Puff Daddy Punk, weak ass. Now you want to say something? Huh. You've been known, and you a homo. You a mo. You snatch. You a mo. And you, and you, and you, and you ripping off your own people. Yeah, you snatching Jake's soul out of his yeah. body. You right. destroying lives and families. You sacrifice his own damn uh, baby mama, man. Yeah. 
I believe he did it. I ain't even got to And Biggie. Yeah, and Biggie. And Pac. Yo, these niggas trying to come out. You niggas are demons, man. Hey, these niggas are crazy. These niggas are straight up demons, man. Right. That nigga sent me, man. I don't give a fuck how much money you got, because what you going to do when the Federal Reserve is through? Woo! What you going to do then? You gonna have one? You gonna get that RFID chip? Yeah, you gonna get it, cause you you've been living so high so long. All right. When when you when you get brought back down to just a nigga again. All right. You gonna run it? You gonna like? Nah, I can't handle this. The roaches you talked about, nigga. That go for all you celebrities, man. Right. You niggas ain't shit, man. That's right. You sold your people out for a fucking piece of paper. That's right. All right, because you the niggas that uh, were manipulated by the fucking industry. They manipulated you niggas' minds. Yeah. All right, yeah. so that you can have Jake that's starving. Jake want to make music, want to make beats, and you tell them, you no, know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta have something for the for the ladies to get up on the dance floor and shake their ass. None of you niggas is uh, uh, pushing the vibration of your outside, man. That's right. So the hell with all of you. That's right. That's right. We'll see you niggas later. That's in right. The kingdom. That's right. Yeah. Going back, back to the book of Maccabees. Oh, yeah. They show sure You was. made a covenant with this goddamn devil. Woo! They basically, the mascot for these songs in Jingo, on what he pushed. He yeah. was a mascot, nigga. That's yeah. right. Nigga dancing all on there, you got Jake dancing like a goddamn clown. Every little fucking Every fucking, thing. everything you turn on, Jake dancing and shit. All in the stores and shit. Ain't nothing yeah. serious about the Je uh, Israelite man. Dancing like you in the club. You just live mission. What the fuck, man? Damn, just goofy, man. Funny, man. Think of all the squat rack doing his weird ass thing. thing. Man. You, know, you know, most of all, you don't take the Heavenly Father serious. Well, they will. Please believe that. You're going to take the, the most high series. Right. All right? Because he getting ready to unleash hell out here, man. The Lord been, uh, the Lord, the, the, the truth been back on earth since the early, uh, early 70s, man. Yeah. Late, late 60s, early 70s. You know what I'm saying? So, and you, and that's the Lord. He been speaking for a while, man. Right. There's going to come a time when the doors of mercy is closed. They are already closed. That's what you know? 50 years right now. It's um, back in um, First Maccabees one in forty three. It says, "Yay, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion." Many of the Israelites consented with this devil. A lot of you niggas in the hip hop world, acting world, entertainment world, you consented with him. All right, you might some of you bent over. That's why you weigh the fuck up top. Some of you just signed your name in blood, do little rituals and sacrifices. You know? Some of you, some of you, some of you even went in there and said, nah, I ain't with this. And went back. Like Master Pete. All right, the whole no limit. But them niggas fucked out. Them niggas, they chasing that almighty dollar. That don't mean nothing. Yeah, it might get you some mansions. You know, get you your own shit, you your own boss. But the scriptures say you have received your consolation. Right. What is it that a man shall gain the whole world and lose, lose his own soul? soul. Right. Damn. You might not have lost your soul to Satan, but you did because why? You put your all in chasing that dollar. Right. Well, that dollar is a it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a, uh, it's a portal to Satan. That's right. what it is, exactly what that is. It, 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 uh, it, has a, it has one of the strongest it got demons on, on it. It got a demon on that, it. That we're dealing with right now, that's one of the most powerful demons that's in America is that dollar. And the dollar is devaluing every day. Yeah. Every day the, the value of the dollar is going down. That's why the prices are rising in the stores. That's why they keep uh, coming up with these money prices. They printing that money out of nowhere. All they doing is signing the paper. All right, I'm gonna give y'all six trillion, y'all. Give me it up. You had Jake doing them PPP loans. Yo, they was giving that shit away. I wish I would've caught wind of that, man. Cause I would've damn sure got me a goddamn loan. You know what I'm saying? And I'd have been, I'd have been straight. I'd have been, I'd have got my own truck. I wouldn't be working for the white man. I'd just be, you know, working three days a week. No. You know what I'm saying? 
I ain't know shit, man. I found out when I went to draw, like, what? I'm like, man, what the fuck? I didn't know, you know, the ins and outs of it, man. But it's all good. It was all, it's all the spirit. I know that for Shit, I would did that shit, man. I'd have had me on my own truck. I'd have been working three days a week. Focusing more on this ministry, man. That's right. You know? But you had these niggas, niggas was getting damn near a million dollars, man. Yeah. Like you can you can actually go on sites and see who got a loan and how much they got paid. Niggas and walk niggas just was getting 80 racks. You know what I'm saying? 20 racks, 40 racks. You know what I'm saying? Just to get it. They had no plans with it. You know, that's why I remember we was out here a few weeks, uh, months ago. And you had Jake just riding by bags the and they whips, and new whips and all type of shit, man. Yeah. Like, man, man, niggas, is, niggas eating right now. Yeah. But not knowing that's a trap. Yeah, that's why I didn't do it, because I know there's something behind it. Yeah. Shit, but if you, if you do it legit, hey, yeah, you could do it legit, though. Yeah, I make my payments back to your ass monthly. You know what I'm saying? You could do it. it could, it's actually forgivable if you can prove that you, show, you spent it towards your uh, business. Right. 100% that's, that's what the world was telling me. I was like, man. But it's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord will make another way if it be his will. Yeah. Back to 1 Maccabees chapter 1, verse 43. It says, And yet, many also of the Israelites conceived into his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Right, sacrifice unto idols. You, you, you didn't make. Doubt. 
jumping back, it says, uh, set up altars and groves and, and chapels of idols and sacrifice swine's flesh and unclean beasts. And sacrifice swine's flesh. Pork. Unclean beasts, dogs. Probably had some goddamn grill up, grill up knuckles. Uh, rats. You know? Go ahead. It says, that they shall also leave their children uncircumcised. And that's what, that was a law to the Israelites, to circumcise your sons the eighth day. But that custom has been lost. You know? So we told you, we told you, we we done as a people. But that's why the Lord said if it wasn't for the Lord's remnant, that we would be likened unto Sodom and likened unto Gomorrah, meaning totally destroyed. Because what the Lord gonna do with us if we walking after the ways of the devil? He ain't can't do nothing with us. That's right. That's why we were punished. Go ahead. It says, uh, and make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and pro, and, uh, pro make their souls make their souls abominable with all manner of uncleanness and profaneness. Your yeah, profane, profane, from profanation. You know, meaning they were doing acts that were outside of the temple. You weren't supposed to do in the temple. Right. Don't you know you had niggas, you know, them heathens, having what they call the Feast of Bacchus, which goes back to a goddamn party inside the temple, man. Remember when Apostle Ramah brought out that they were literally taking the skin from other parts of their body and putting it back over their, their body. Over their body, because they didn't want to. They didn't want to have to deal with uh, antiosis. They were scared of them. Yeah. <laughs> it said to the end, they might forget the law and change the ordinances. She did that on purpose. Right there, there, there. I'm reading this, I can't even look. That's all right. Send to a left one. It says. Whosoever would not do according to the commandment of the king, he said he should die. That's right, man. So that's what it's getting ready to come down to because you know why? He saw us selling everybody to take their potion. And then biting those sleepy, creepy looking ass got up there and said those that didn't take it will suffer uh, greatly. Or some paraphrase right. what he said. Yeah, pay, the, pay, the, pay, the, pay the bigger price. And that price is them coming down on those who didn't take the potion. Right. But the ones who won't pay the big price are those who took it. You already paying the price. You walk around with blood clots. You had some white woman from Utah, you know, got on there. She worked in the uh, health field for over 16 years. And she was saying that her brother was healthy. As soon as he took that potion, he was fucked up. He was messed up after he took the potion. They praying, he threw it. Dude, he done, man. He was healthy. He was like, like he was, she said that he was good. She took that shit, done. And it was for a new job. See that? He was 36 years old. He took it the next day he died. Woo! Same with the one of the brothers, man. I took it the day. Woo! Woo! See that? But you still think this man uh, 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 loves you. He still is doing this for your safety. No, this is a deep pop agenda, man. That's right. right. Well, it, man. Matter of fact, the scripture tells you to deceive them that took the mark. They said when you take it, you're not able to think on your own. On your, and you you constantly, it's like the jitters. You know, you can't, you can't, you can't focus on nothing. Because we're energetic beings. And that mag, that uh, that metal, and that magnetic, right. that magnetic flow is fucking off your neurological system. It sure right. is. Right. So all of you, they took that test. Yeah, yeah. Remember, um, I, I sent that video to y'all brothers. With, uh, yeah, the liquid, liquid crystal. 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 It looked like when it dropped in the water, it looked like nervous system, uh, but yeah. a crystal. And that's exactly what it doing. And those crystals got metal in it. Got he metal. saw. He spiked. He hooked that uh -huh. liquid crystal up with metals in it. Yeah. With antennas that can that can that he can. Uh, uh, he can receive and uh, 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 give off signals. Yeah, transmit. Transmit. 
That shit is crazy, yo. Now you, you don't think that's the left hand of the most high? Something wrong with you. Because he ain't that motherfucking smart. Come. I'll show you how close we are, man. The Woo. most high gave him that technology. Nobody's going to escape, escape their judgment except the elect, man. That's right. military operation where they use frequencies on those people over there, man. That's crazy. All right? An actual operation. That was 1994. So people think, okay, it's just a frequency. Just, no, are very powerful. When you talk, that's frequency. Huh. That's in itself. The Lord, when he created the heavens and earth, he just gave off the frequency, and it was created. You know? Right, that's, uh, brothers, check out that movie, uh, Motherfuckers was killing each other, man. And that's exactly what he's going through. And I was doing the summer. Yep. Like this brother always say, uh, <laughs> one summer can change everything. Hopefully this summer, shit. We ready to get out of here, man. That's right. Yeah, we about to get out of here, right? You know what I'm saying? We don't, we don't, we don't, uh, Lighting into a point to be on the street, you know, forever and shit. Bro, get, get uh, some kind of whatever perverse thing that comes over the end of the street. You don't want that, man. We want to get out of here. That's right. right. You know, we want to get the freak out of America, get established where righteousness is uh, set forth back in the earth and everything is flourishing as it's supposed to, man. That's right. right. And another thing, they, 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 you know, do Hollywood, they force you to think that a zombie is a half dead face, beat, beat off, growling, goddamn demon. Mm -hmm. Well, that's Hollywood. All right? When you, when you, well, I heard Brother Vincent King, when they turn them frequencies up, it just, it enraged people. That's what it did. All right? It enraged people because they, what they did with these, with this uh, C19 poster, they spliced it with animal DNA. Yeah. Right? Certain things that animals do, you're going to start to see people get yeah, they, they run off of uh, 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 history. You know? They, they they basically always in fight and flight, like you was bringing out the other yeah. Animals are always in fight or uh, flight mode the majority of the time. That's and how they he, he saw that broke that down on a, on a cellular level. He knows what goes on in your body, what chemicals react with each other to put you in that state.
And the self same manner wrote he to his whole kingdom and appointed overseers over all the people, commanding the cities of Judea to sacrifice city by city. Right, and that's the point I wanted. If they didn't do it according to the commandment of the king, they were going to be put to death. The commandment of the king in this day and age is first, it's that potion. That's why they hear this. They got over 200 million people with it. Shouldn't that create a herd immunity like they said in the beginning? Yeah. Right. They always switch it up. They always switch it, it up. We'll show you it wasn't, it's never been about a herd immunity. It's always been about control and depopulation. Man. Right. right. Okay? Right. Beautiful day out, and you got people walking around breathing in their own carbon monoxide. Right. right. And now they, they're bringing out about these emails where he's even saying that the mass don't do shit. And he, 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 they was controlled too. So, the word devil means to deceive them, man. Right. He's deceiving the people. But he thought the cameras was up. Right. 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 Everybody got to say something, huh? It's uh, Revelation 19 and 20. It says, And the beast was taken, and him and with him the false prophet. Which that is the false prophet is the Roman Catholic Church. Right at the Vatican. Yep. That's why you, they, uh, you, you look at the makeup of the Vatican, that temple in there, it's a goddamn serpent's head, man. It sure is. Yes. Ah, Vatican means uh, the uh, serpent like prophets. Yeah. 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 Because the left hand got prophets too. Yeah. They deal with that energy. Yeah. Why you think? the representative of the, the world's religion, Catholic, which yeah. is Roman Catholic, uh, Roman Catholic, uh, dogma, because yeah. it ain't, that shit is dogma, that's man. That demonic as hell. You go to one of them temples, that. oh shit, that's yeah, you go in them temples, you, it's, it's, it's demonic up in there, man. We got chased out of the, <laughs> and the Pope is for, it's for gay rights. He's for gay rights. He's both, he's, 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 he's a warlock. Hey, if he's real, he's supposed to be against that. He's a, he's a top down, warlock. Down he's a real left-hand warlock, man. Right. You got the little chicken teeth that show you that you're drinking blood. Oh, he God. drinks He drinks pints at a time. That must right. be guaranteed. Yeah, to the phone, that ass nigga. It says, And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him. With right. them, I mean, with man's miracles that he's going to come with, he's already doing some of them, a lot of the miracles. He's allowing uh, people that, that were lame, now oh, they yeah. can walk, yeah. through, through a microchip in their brain. Yeah, yeah. See. people to see. Yeah, to, 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 to say here. No, I didn't say here. Yeah, he got the thing where he put a, and you can see them. I seen people, they got this thing tested their head. brain, and it's a cord that go to their ear. Yeah. Yeah. And then they ain't able to hear and shit. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. Those are miracles. That's his miracles. They all yeah. carnal miracles. Ah. Technology. Yep. It says, with which he deceived them that received the mark of the beast. And it's going to be a lot of people that are deceived that, 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 that take that mark, man. All right? He already deceived over 200 million to take that goddamn potion. That's right. Hey, hey, man, that's good for you. Whoever took it, hey, man, big round of applause. That's right. That's, that's, what, you, that's, what, you, that's what you get for, for, for trusting the devil. Right. right. I'm only talking to these people. Yeah. If you were if you an Edomite, you a so-called white person, and your line goes back to Esau Edom, hey, you can do what you want to do. You don't yeah, give a damn. Right. 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 More man person. Well, we're talking to these people. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have. You had no business taking that post in your report. Right on they had the black woman with her swole ass eye and come out. I've been catching hell since I got that vaccine, y'all. Well, who told you to get it? Who? Because it's not mandatory. Right. Dummies. You had a young Judah woman. She was young as shit. Probably not even 20. She was in the she was in a doctor's uh, hallway, sitting there.
sitting down with her mother and she, oh, yeah, she, she straight couldn't, couldn't that she, was and she had just got it. Yeah. Just she got, just got it. it. Uh, uh, that's why you're supposed to listen to the Lord's prophets, man. That's right. Market of peace, and that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of the fire burning with brimstone. Ooh. And when it, when, it, when it says cast alive, that means you're gonna see the missiles coming. Yep. You're gonna be alive and well. That's right. Uh, All right. It don't mean somebody gonna grab you by the, the belt and your turf collar and toss you into a pool of fire, man. You know what it means? You're gonna be right here when that when that you're gonna be left here when the missiles come, man. Ooh. Yep. And all of them got all of them. 
So you can oh, fuck no, you up. Get all this. He 
telling him, Isaac is your Alma Shai, all right? That's right. Isaac is telling him, look, you're going to have all the earth. Man. I'm going to give you all the earth. Woo! And to do what happened. I'm going to give you all that. But how is he going to get it? Read. Yep. It says, and by thy sword shalt thou live. That's how you're going to live and get it. You ain't going to get it no other way. And that's exactly what he did. All right? During the Renaissance era. And they go into this a bubble from Shaw. Watch this documentary, man. You're going you're gonna to see all that. You're going to see all these scriptures going to come to mind when you watch it. Because the, the illustration of it, he shows, he shows timelines. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he showed it all. He showed maps. The Renaissance was the beginning of him taking over the world, man. The rebirth. The rebirth. He showed Gad and Judah like this, ready to die for each other. He showed the Haitian Revolution, the French Revolution, the uh, 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 the American Revolution. Okay? He was, that's, when he, that's when he was known. Everybody knew he was the devil then. That's why Gad called him the, uh, the fork tongue. Yo. And you had, he had problems with Gad. Red Cloud, all right? You read, do some history on Red Cloud. Red Cloud wasn't no motherfucking joke. Woo! He wasn't bowing down to the white man. That's right. Crazy horse, sitting bull. All right, you had a bunch of Gadites, man. Woo! Woo! It says, and by thy sword shalt thou live, and shalt serve thy brother. Right, by the sword he was going to live. And that's exactly how he's been living. By the force of his sword. Every, everywhere he went, it don't matter if it was over on this part of the earth, the western hemisphere, when he went to Africa, you know who to, who's running Africa? Edomites. Yeah, so Edomites is raping yeah, and Africa. robbing the shit out of Africa. Right. Yeah, Africa. We're talking Norway, Great. Belgium, Britain, France, uh, France. Mm -hmm. yeah. all right? All those uh, goddamn uh, old world Edomites, all right? And know, Christopher Columbus, you know, different Spaniards and colonizers, they were bums. Right. They sent them on the mission. Right. Y'all go, y'all go all the way over the water. Yeah, they, they was naming fucking. them. They was naming like they was naming all those places where they landed on after their own after names. Their like own, the scriptures say it. After that? their after own the, names. Yeah, yeah. Psalms, I think forty nine and eleven or something. Yeah. Yeah, they was bums, bro. They was bums. They was they was fucking castaways of their own society. So they said, look, we'll just give them a task and let them motherfuckers yeah. go across that big Basically, body of water. You die, you die. If you die, you die. But if you come up on something, you best bring back work. <laughs> and that's what it was. Yeah, bro. They found out that Africa had gold, wool, diamonds. Uh, and uh, they raped the shit out of them. Man, bro. Raped the shit out of them, man. That's what that whole, that movie Blood Diamond is all about. Right. Because who was the dude at the end they were filming? It was a dude from France. All right, it was a dude from France that hired those, that hired those uh, African tribes, okay, to to, 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 to enslave the people and, and, and harvest them, uh, them precious uh, metals, and diamonds, and rubber, and all that from over there, man. Because there ain't shit coming out of Europe. Right. The scriptures call Europe the bottomless pit. Right. Because there's no natural resources that they can use to sustain life there, man. Yeah. And diamonds. Diamonds is not uh, what y'all think it is. It's not. It's not as. Uh, it's precious, but it's not one of the most precious stones. No, right, right. It's not right. rare. It's, no, it's, it's not rare. It's, uh, it's 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 basically what I'm trying to say. They're uh, they're not scarce like Esau right. say that that they are. Uh, Esau it's so them. many damn diamonds, man. He made it seem like. Uh, you mean different stones? Different stones. Yeah. But like when he say that they're uh, the diamonds are, like the most rare. Rare like. No, it's more, man. Because you can make diamond out of pressing the coal. Yep, that's right. right. And he does that. Cold Those are yellow diamonds he make. That, that you, you know, your, 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 your skill saw, and you start cutting that little thin little blade. He put, di he put crushed diamonds on that shit, and he sells those shits. You know what I'm saying? To, to, to cut the shit. It's known for its hardness. The diamond? Right. They only, well, it's only, you can cut a diamond only with a diamond, they say. Something like that. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. It says, And there went out another horse. 
It's Revelation 6 and 4. It says, And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. He saw evil. Okay, right. He took peace from the earth. Right. Even you got you got ancient chiefs, Canaanite chiefs, they would have folks and they would say, before the white man got here, men would go out, hunt, gather all day. Women will keep the house and the village and the children. When the men got home, they would feast and have sex all night. And it was plenty for everybody. He said men had they said men had more than one woman. They were living, they were living in paradise. But when the white man came, they changed all of them. Right. You know, now you confound to one woman. You know, you ain't no hunter or you ain't no gatherer. You go to the postal store, you buy, yeah. you buy some goddamn uh, uh, yeah. GMO, old ass meat, yeah, that processed yeah. food. Yeah. Show how he, he stole the land and then he broke it up and sold it. Each little piece by piece, he just, he just sold it. Slang, yeah. Slang your land. It was all shit. about profit. It's all about profit. It was profit. all about yeah, profit. profit. The land in his pocket. Yep. The 13 Congress came created. He, uh, what he, well, another thing he did, he killed off all, all the buffalo. Oh yeah. All right, because buffalo was a source of, of not only food for the for the for the, for the Gadites, but they used every portion of that animal. The, the bow and they arrow. They used the bow to make weapons. They used the coat for the. They used the all that the, the rawhide for uh for their for their uh, TVs and drums, you know, to make drums, blankets. And I was I was listening to his audio. Uh, Red Cloud, and they when they killed off all the buffalo, uh, the Gadites, which was the tribe, it was the Cheyenne, the Lakotas, and the, I forget the other third tribe that was with Red Cloud. But basically, when they when they when they killed off those buffaloes, it, it enraged Gad because when Gad killed the buffalo, it was it was damn near sacred because that buffalo helped them sustain life. That's right. And he was just slaughtering them, man. You know, he was just slaughtering them for no reason because he knew that was the main source because Gad used to follow the herd. Yep. Right, yep. yep. You know? Yeah. And Gad had a, uh, a land center. He so ain't got that, man. You know what I'm saying? He had, he had all, all man, hundreds of years, same land. Wonder why he see it ain't growing, man. You know what I'm saying? Just right. using the land up, just... God damn, give the land a rest. There's man. land out there that's never been touched in America. Yeah. Except for his goddamn experiment blowing up bombs and shit. But there's there's land that's inhabitable. But there ain't nothing there. Because he wants everybody the way he can control them. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. Hey the earth the earth wasn't made for us to be all in one little clumped up in uh -huh. one fucking city with buildings on top of each other. You you in your apartment and shit, you can hear your neighbors over there getting it. Yeah. Getting it in and shit. Yeah. You don't want to hear that shit. You know, you ain't, you ain't supposed to live like that, man. You know, three and four stories. Uh, man, shit. fuck three and four stories. They got 10 and the 20 stories. stories. You know, yeah, up, I went to a building there. It was 70 stories, man, stories. doing the delivery, man. That was the lobby. That was the lobby. Man, you can't get your food in the same building. <laughs> same shit. You can't come get your shit from Bro, I looked at the one and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> like, God damn. That yeah, shit's scary as fuck, huh? Yeah. But that's Esau because he's used to living in the caves. Yeah. He's used to living in the mountains. In caves and shit. The power was given to him that set the run to take peace from the earth. That's right, power was given to him to take peace from the earth. So when this man was given the go-ahead, and that go-ahead was the Renaissance, he took peace from the earth. Right. One of the ways he's taking peace from the earth, he's going in other he's going to other people's lands and taking their shit. And taking everything, the resources, all that. And they get mad and that peace is gone. It's like they don't they want more now. You know what I'm saying? They want war. No, fuck that. You can't just come in our land and, and put your embassy in and, and, and say, you know, you want your banks in here. That was the whole thing over there in, uh, in uh, uh, what's, uh, 
about the one where they were seeing like the trash cans. Oh, uh, get to my South America. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Colombia. No, 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 Venezuela. 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 They wanted to put, he said he wanted to put his banks and shit. Did they yeah. Some cool down there and shit? Yeah, they, they still fucking down there with that shit. Banks is there. Bro. Yeah, they got them. Yeah. Banks is there. But, but they was they were putting up a resistance. Right. And that resistance caused the people to go, they went into a state of famine. Yep. Because he has control over the over over everything. Right. You know? And he started putting his 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 people in there in the high power and all that and start corrupting it. Man. It don't matter where you go on the earth, you're gonna run into some eating mites. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like okay, like in Mexico. Here. You got the so-called Jew in Mexico. Yep. What the fuck are you doing oh. there? Yeah, this car don't fuck with them either. Yeah, because they got, but they got control of Mexico. That's why they can be there and walk around and not get snatched up yeah. by the by the cartel. They can walk around, you know, like this and shit. You know what I'm saying? Just walking they, around like they just innocent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you go down there as a foreigner from America. Oh yeah. You ain't got eyes on you, man. Oh, you get snatched get up, you. get hauled off into the jungle, and never be heard from again.
wasn't just the Negro. That's just the well documented because that's the head tribe. Okay? Yeah. He had all that power to do that, but you had these, you had the jank dude. You go down to the south, you see them big ass two lights down there, man. It's like, yo, how the hell? But that's how you know it was divine. It had to be divine. All right? Because Jake ain't, you know, just like when he came over here to, to, to the Americas. When he landed on the, uh, when he landed on uh, Hispaniola, which was uh, Haiti, after the now modern day Haiti, after the Tainos, Christopher Columbus, they were doing the same thing. They were, they were, they were killing the men, all right? Of grabbing the women, raping them, all right? Having their way with them. And Jake didn't have no problem. Except a set, an exception of a few that the Lord allowed to uh, run his ass up out of there. But ultimately, he did over, overcome all of us, man. Maybe the most poor of all of the They had the most successful rebellion. You had the four generals. Matter of fact, I wrote their names down. You had the four. Oh, you had four, uh, there was a Haitian revolution. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And it was, it was in 1790. All right? You had Tucson, uh, local, local tour, uh, Jean, uh, uh, Jack, Jean Jacques, Des Desalines, De De I don't know how to pronounce it. It's French. You had Henry Christopher, had uh, Alex Alexander uh, uh, Pichia, those four uh, Haitian Levites, they formed together and they and they ran. It wasn't just the four; them. they had their own, like uh, like just like Red Cloud, Crazy Horse, and Sitting Bull. They had their own military that was like, "Fuck, we gonna fight this devil to the death." Right, and that's what those uh, Levites did, man. Yep. And they were the, they were the most successful out of all the rebellion against Esau, and that's why their country is the way it is. Yeah, that's why it's okay. All right? But ultimately, that's the most high. Yeah. Because Levi, and, the, and the, you're going to see it when you watch the rest of part two of the documentary. Wow. And it, it, it brought it to me. When when, Levi, when we were a nation, lawyer lived, lived uh, luxurious. Yeah. He was in the best of everything. He had the best of everything. Yeah, he was the priest. He lived in the suburbs amongst all the uh, tribes. He didn't have to work. Everything was brought to him because that was their office. Yep. It tells you that their inheritance was the Lord. All right? That's why the name lawyer means joined to me. All right? So now, they at the bottom of all the tribes as far as living. They eat dirt cookies. Yep. They, 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 they over there dipping and dabbing with left hand magic. They going off big time, yeah. but that's the total. That's the that's the cost. That's the cost of not keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. And they they were the ones that should have known better than all of us because they were the priests. <laughs> so the Lord is the Lord is just, man. Right. The Lord is just. And the beautiful thing about that is, is that we coming back as a nation, and all of us are going to be priests. That's right. It's a Malachi 2 and 1. It says, and now, O ye priests, this, com this commandment is for you. If you will not hear, and if you will not lay it to heart to give glory unto the neck, or to my name, said the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and will curse your blessed day. I have cursed them already because ye do not lay it to heart. See? So that was the curse that fell upon really all of Israel. Even when you look at the tribe of Gad, right? What does the word Gad mean? It means troops, soldiers, all right? Warriors. When they got over to the Americans, they were living like warriors. They weren't living, you know, they were they were living like warriors, constantly moving, living off the land, warring with each other. You had Gad warring with each other, so the most I sent another troop, which was the U.S. Cavalry. First it started with Judah, Benjamin, and Levi was in Central and South America fighting with the tribes there, whether it was Issachar, Zebulon, but 
NASA, uh, 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 Asher, you had to try. They were fighting against this damn devil together. But when he overcame us, he divided us. All right? In that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as the as the Alahim. Which is the angels, the powers, the judges. Because guess what? The house of David were the angels in the beginning. Alright? We're taking that uh that, that office of Levi, but all the tribes are that's, that was part of the reason Yahweh Shai gave his life up. That's why when he gave his life, the veil of the temple ran in two. Because it was no longer Levi was the only way that was going to get to the most high. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, y'all was shot coming back to And now he's seeing them more and more, so it's just letting them know his time is, is speeding up to yeah. where he's going. Different. Your time is almost up, devil. Right. That's why you see it. That's why we see him more chilies. That's a sign of your destruction. Man. Yeah, right. That's a sign that your your, 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 your kingdom, your rulership is about to uh, be ended. That's right. That's right. You know? You gotta go, man. You did exactly what you were supposed to do. You did a hell of a job, man. That's right. You ain't going to win, though. But you get no credit because that's the Lord. That's that's the Lord's left hand, man. That's right. He show you that he got a left hand, too. He jab your hand. Look, boom, get him. This is the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 5. Seeing his days are determined. That he cannot pass. Right. Right. So it's only when the Lord say, all right, that's it. That's it. There ain't going to be no extra five minutes. You know, it ain't going to be hit the snooze button. No, it's, that's it. It's over. So, and we in the process of that. Uh, it's Isaiah 29, 20, 15. It says, woe well, to them that... Seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord, and their works are in darkness. Everything you've been doing. Who you think sent them left hand angels to your wicked ass? Yeah, bro, you DMT taking motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Who, who you think? Who you, who you think sent them angels to you and told you to concoct this and to concoct that? Yo. Told you how to spice DNA. And most I sent them angels to you to do that to fulfill his purpose. All right. To fulfill his will. Right. Matter of fact, give me Colossians, the first chapter. All things are created by him and for him. him. Right. Whether they be principalities, yeah. thrones. That's right, brother. Colossians 1:16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven. And that are in earth, visible and invisible. Visible and invisible. So them left hand angels that he saw us dealing with. Because believe you me, the top Edomites, especially over there in uh, the land of Israel. Psalm 75, tell you. Well, no, not Psalm 75. Psalm 75 and Lamentations 4. Give me 
Lamentation 4 and 21. It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and thou shalt make thyself naked. So read that again. What it said? It said, uh, Shall drink of the cup of the Almighty. Man. Ooh. It said, uh, it said uh, uh, verse 19. The Heavenly Father lay up, up, lay up, up his iniquity. No, no, no. It's like Verse 17, how oft is the candle of the Lord, a uh, candle of the wicked put out? How oft cometh their destruction upon them? The heavenly Father distributed sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. The heavenly Father layeth up his iniquity for his children. He rewardeth them, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. He's going to drink it, man. There ain't nothing he going to do. He's going to be forced, forced to You know how he used to make the slaves forced to eat goddamn gula or whatever the fuck yeah, he was feeding? He'll break, he break Jake's teeth. Right. He'll so break Jake's teeth, man. Right. Right. He the yep. the he didn't numb him or nothing, just broke his shit. Damn, that's. You know, he got a lot to pay for, man. Yeah. That's why the Lord said you. All what the brother just read, man, that's the brother before he got these devils, man. Read it from the top of 17, man. Grasp all this, man. Grasp, this is what the Lord has prescribed for the wicked. I gotta, hey, I gotta go down too after this. It says, verse 17, how oft is the candle of the wicked put out, and how oft cometh their destruction upon them? The Heavenly Father distributed sorrows in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, and as chaff that the storm carrieth away. The Heavenly Father layeth up his iniquity for his children. He laid up the iniquity to put on his children. That's why the scriptures tell you, if the wicked be multiplied, it's for the slaughter. All right? He rewarded them, and he shall know it. I shall he see. rewarded them, and he, he gonna reward them with what? Destruction. Right. That's their reward they got coming. Job tell you that they're, they're, that's their inheritance of the wicked man. Yeah. All right? That's the 20th chapter. It says, His eyes shall see his destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. Ooh. Stop right there. His Ooh. eyes shall see his destruction. Give me that. He shall flee from the iron weapon. Yeah. But the bow of steel shall strike him through. Uh, you there? Yeah, he, go ahead. It says, uh, Job chapter 20, verse 22. It says, In the fullness of his sufficiency shall he be in strength. And every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. Meaning the laborers. That word wicked there, the Hebrew word, when you look it up, it means laborer or wretched, which is the Israelites. Right. Right. It ain't talking about the actual wicked. It's talking about the Israelites. The laborers. Go ahead. It says, when he is about to fill his belly, the Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. It shall rain it upon him while he is eating. Yep. He shall flee from the iron weapon. That's why the scripture just says, who we had Isaiah right here? Or is that Job? Yeah, Job. Uh, Job uh, 21 and uh, 22. Uh, 21. Right, Job 21 and 21. No, 20. His eyes shall see his destruction. He shall, he shall see his destruction. The of the Almighty. He Ooh. shall see his destruction because he's going to flee from it. Right. Because his destruction is coming via nuclear missiles. Yeah, right. So he going to see the missiles. He's going to be old. He's going to be running. Nobody's going to be beating on them under them, 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 uh, them mountain retreats trying to get in. of steel shall strike him through. Hi-ya! That same missile he created to try to uh, use his force on the planet Earth to scare the Earth, you know, blowing up goddamn countries. The Lord gonna use that same missile to destroy his ass. That's right! It says, 
says, verse 21, For what pleasure have he in his house said to him when the number of his hawks is cut off in the midst? Because yeah. he think, he talking, by 2030 we should have our whole system together. Man, you ain't going to make it to 2030. Right. Uh -huh. You're going to be a change. By 2025 we should have uh, our whole uh, uh, digital uh, currency system. You might not make it to 2025, man.
You had to fly a plane to get to that joint. They had motherfuckers locked up in there. You seen those? They had people locked up that they said was dead. People that had influence on society. Right. And we ran into, we ran into a bump. That was, man, that bug was just getting bugged the fuck out. Remember what he was saying? Oh, yeah. He was saying, you think people are dead? They ain't fucking dead.
right there. That's a envy right there. Like, man, what nation is this so fucked up? He said, I don't even wish I could be one of them. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, because that's what they finna do. I can't tell you nothing other than what the Lord showed. Because the Lord opened up a heathen's eyes and showed a heathen how we gonna get busy in these last days. social media right now, Jake is complaining about how the woman is. Yeah. And when he say Jake, he mean he's short I mean, for Jake. all the tribes. Yeah. Right. All the tribes. Right. Jake is complaining about the woman, the modernized woman. I'm like, well shit, nigga, if y'all was real men, all you gotta do is live by these, live by this, and that woman, she ain't gonna have no choice. She ain't gonna have no other choice but to get with it or get the fuck lost, That's man. right. Man. But the thing is, it's only a few of us like that. So what they do? On to the next thing. On to the next thing. But if every every Israelite man was a, a, was a, was about this this truth, the woman wouldn't have no choice. Right. 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 She ain't supposed to have no fucking choice. Right. That's right. 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 She ain't supposed to be able to just uh, trot up around the earth freely and sit on every Tom, Dick, and goddamn Harry out here, man. He saw so that liberty. Give her no uh, woman, we, no right. Neither the wicked woman liberty to gather yeah, broad. Esau knew that, but ultimately we know it was the heavenly father, because going back to the curses, all right, the woman that was a tender and delicate among me, that wouldn't venture to set the soul of her foot upon the ground, her eyes shall be evil towards her husband and her children. Right, you know, and that's the thing they miss on social media, they want to know why this, is it over? Right. Because that's how it's supposed to be. You know? 
Right. You're turning the world upside down, man. Right. And if you and if you ain't with it, then you're gonna get left behind. Point blank, right. period. This is the train, man. Uh, what's that? Who, who old school? Um, the old school group that made that uh, that song about the, uh, the train. Okay. Uh, All right, go. All right, go. Uh, okay. I forget how it go, man. But that basically, you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss that train. Yo, know? this is that train. The train of truth. Coming back to our power, man. Right. Uh, last verse, Deuteronomy 4 9. Only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently. Least thou forget the things which thine eyes have seen, and least they depart from thy heart all the days of thy life. But teach them thy sons and thy sons' sons. And they were departed from us. Because Paul prophesied. statutes and commandments, our power, we didn't know who we were. Yo, all of us were in a Gentile state of mind. You got something? Yeah, it's about that time. To Proverbs 3 and 5. Proverbs 3 and 5. Yep. It says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own. you to your soul, man. Oh. It hits you like, damn, that's in the Bible. And I know he didn't, but that's not his opinion. Right. Because that was written before he was born. That's, that's, the, that's the measuring stick at the end. That's the measuring stick. Fucking what they think it is. That's and right. we don't have Matter of fact, get that in uh, Hebrews 4. Us men, we don't have that much wisdom to yeah. ourselves to, to, to say something like that, man. It ain't, uh, you know what Beyond us. This ain't even about us, man. Uh, this, is, hey, this, this is the Lord's work. You know what I'm saying? The Lord gave us the wisdom that we have to break it down to you and give it to you. When we give it to you, man. Straight raw in your face. Whether you believe it or not, we don't care, man. The Lord cut it dry. He don't, ain't no gray areas. No scope for anybody's sin. Nobody can't say they didn't know or nothing. The Lord covered everything. That's right. He says, in all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Come on now. All your ways acknowledge the Lord and on the record. That's what we that what we that's what we lost. One of the great the greatest worry to ever walk the planet, King David, he always moved like that. Yeah, oh, before he engaged the battle, he inquired of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And the Lord would tell him, all right, I'd have delivered him into your hands. Or well, the Lord would tell him, no, don't go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Woo. You got that in the Hebrews? Yeah, it's Hebrews 4 and 12. It says, For the word of the Heavenly Father is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. That's right. why, that's why, that's why when the Bible comes into conversation, I don't want to get religion. Don't bring religion into this. No, it needs to be here. Right. It needs to be here because they will set everybody the fuck up. Yeah, right. You know? But it's not like for real you. though. It'll set everybody, it'll cut everybody up in and I don't want to hear your opinion. Do you believe in God? Of course I believe in God. Well, okay, this is what God said. All right, this is his book. This is what it says. Right or wrong? Yep. Better be quiet as a church house mouse in there, man. You know, you know what they're going to say? Well, what man right there. Okay. Right man right there. I'm glad you, you said that. that. Because that's that. the scripture we're going to end on. Yeah. Read that. I'm glad you said that. Yeah. And that's the reason I said yeah. it. Yeah. Man wrote the Bible. Okay. Yeah. Man wrote the Bible. Well, man wrote the bullshit you indulged in. That's yeah, so good. It says, for the word of the Heavenly Father is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing the center of the soul and the spirit, and the joints of the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. That's why when the Bible's brought out, everybody got to shut up. It don't matter what the subject is. When the Bible says this, you saying, you are, you, it's, it don't bother. Because you don't mean it's not that you still get cut. 